Hi, I'm Tyler from ZipGrow and we're here in the Kentville campus and today we're going to talk to you about growing seedlings in a greenhouse. Some of the key considerations when growing seedlings in a greenhouse is that greenhouses can be much warmer and humid than indoors under artificial lighting. So adequate airflow is a necessity and proper shading if it gets too hot. I would recommend some recirculation fans to keep a gentle airflow over the seedlings, but not too much to dry out the media that they're growing in. When considering light, seedlings only need about 300 to 400 micromoles of light maximum to grow without stretching. So if you're in direct light, you can safely shade your greenhouse using a 50% shade cloth or uh, either a liquid shade um, or any way of shading out your greenhouse structure. If it's early in the season and you're expecting cool temperatures at night, you can use a heat mat below your trays to encourage consistent germination. Typically, most seed species like 21 Celsius or higher to germinate, so keep this in mind because most greenhouses in northern climates cannot maintain these kinds of temperatures at night um, and will require some form of bottom heat to keep the trays warm. Another factor to consider is maintaining the humidity on your crops or your seedlings when they start to germinate. Most ger growers germinate in the greenhouse with humidity domes or a germination chamber, then remove the domes once they have one to two sets of true leaves on the seedlings. Some crops also require darkness to germinate, so you can use products like vermiculite or perlite to cover your seedlings and keep them dark and moist for the period of germination. The type of plug you use is also important. Because we're growing hydroponically, we like to use a peat plug that has a binder to keep it together in our system. If you're growing for your garden, you can use a peat starter mix or other options for hydroponics, such as rock wool, grow foam plugs, or oasis cubes. Lastly, you want to be cautious of over or under watering. If you're growing many seedlings, sometimes you want to water with a hose overhead because it's the easiest, but there's also the option of setting up timed watering with a flood tray to bottom water the seedlings. Bottom watering is often preferred because it prevents the leaves from getting too wet, as well as encountering diseases, as well as it waters your plugs more consistently. Bottom watering can also be accomplished by using small trays um, and just submerging your seedlings by hand. Thanks so much for watching, that's all for today. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and we look forward to reading your comments and questions below.